Welcome to our Regulation Mastery Session. In this session, we will continue reading the CSSF Circular 22806 from Part 1 Outsourcing Arrangements, Chapter 4. Governance of Outsourcing Arrangements. Section 4.1.3 Outsourcing Arrangements Relating to Internal Control Functions. 21. Outsourcing arrangements of internal control functions shall not effectively result in the transfer of these functions as a whole to the service providers. Therefore, outsourcing arrangements shall be limited, in principle, to operational tasks of these functions. 22. Outsourcing arrangements of operational tasks of the internal control functions shall not undermine the permanence of the internal control arrangements and functions of the in-scope entity or their continued effectiveness. In practice this means that outsourcing arrangements shall be proportionate and shall not result in the effective carving out of the substance of the in-scope entity's internal control functions. 23. In accordance with the requirements of Section 4.3.1.2, in-scope entities shall ascertain that the service provider complies with applicable suitability requirements and has appropriate and sufficient technical knowledge and experience. In particular, the service provider shall demonstrate an appropriate and up-to-date knowledge of the regulatory framework that applies to the in-scope entity. 24. When outsourcing operational tasks of the internal control functions, the service provider shall be placed under the oversight of and report to the person in charge of the relevant internal control function of the in-scope entity, e.g. the chief compliance officer the chief risk officer, or the chief internal auditor. Where in-scope entities outsource the full range of operational tasks of their internal control function, the service provider shall report to the member of the management body in charge of the internal control function. 25. In the context of the internal audit function, the service provider shall also have a direct access to the management body in its supervisory functions or, where appropriate, to the chairperson of the audit committee. In addition, the service provider shall carry out the internal audit operational tasks in accordance with the in-scope entity's internal audit plan and work program, document the work and the findings of each mission in sufficient detail and issue a dedicated report on each mission. All documents shall be drafted in French, German or English and delivered to the person in charge of the internal audit function, to the management body, and, where applicable, to the audit committee. Section 4.1.4 Outsourcing Arrangements Relating to the Financial and Accounting Function 26. Outsourcing Arrangements of the Financial and Accounting Function shall not effectively result in the transfer of this function as a whole to the service providers. Therefore, outsourcing arrangements shall be limited, in principle, to operational tasks of this function. Outsourcing arrangements of operational tasks of the financial and accounting functions shall not undermine the permanence of the central administration of the in-scope entity. 27. When outsourcing operational tasks of the accounting function, in-scope entities shall have, at the closing of each day, unconditional and unrestricted access to the balance of all accounts and of all accounting movements of the day in order to provide the competent authority, or any other body, as required by applicable laws and regulations, with this information. 28. When using an accounting system that is located outside of Luxembourg, accounting system hosting outsourcing, independently, or in connection with the outsourcing of operational tasks of the accounting function, the in-scope entity shall have, at the end of each day, 
a secure backup of all end-of-day accounting positions, including client positions, in a readable format. To guarantee an autonomous preparation of a balance sheet, a profit and loss statement and client positions. This backup shall be stored at the premises of the in-scope entity in the EEA, of a group entity located in the EEA, or of another service provider, i.e. a service provider different from the one to whom the accounting system is outsourced, located in the EEA. The accounting system shall allow keeping regular accounts in accordance with the applicable accounting framework in Luxembourg, the preparation of statutory accounts, and the preparation of the prudential reports to the competent authority. 29. In case of outsourcing of the production of prudential reports, the person in charge of the financial and accounting function in the in-scope entity shall ensure that these reports represent faithfully the in-scope entity's prudential situation and are prepared in accordance with the applicable instructions. In addition, this person shall be able to ensure that the in-scope entity's annual accounts are prepared in accordance with the applicable accounting laws and regulations. Subchapter 4.2 Governance Framework Section 4.2.1 Sound Governance Arrangements and Third-Party Risk 30. As part of the overall internal control framework, including internal control mechanisms, in-scope entities shall have a holistic entity-wide risk management framework extending across all business lines and internal units. Under that framework, in-scope entities shall identify and manage all their risks, including risks caused by arrangements with third parties. The risk management framework shall also enable in-scope entities to make well-informed decisions on risk-taking and ensure that risk management measures are appropriately implemented, including with regard to cyber risks. 31. In-scope entities, taking into account the principle of proportionality, shall identify, assess, monitor and manage all risks resulting from arrangements with third parties to which they are or might be exposed, regardless of whether or not those arrangements are outsourcing arrangements. The risks, in particular the operational risks, of all arrangements with third parties, shall be assessed in line with point 66 to 70. 32. In-scope entities shall ensure that they comply with all requirements under GDPR, including for their third-party and outsourcing arrangements.